The Oireachtas Committee on the 8th Amendment is going to have its final meeting today, but we already know a majority of members have said they are in favour of allowing abortion up to 12 weeks into a pregnancy uh, without restriction. Uh, we're joined by uh, two of the members of uh, that committee, uh, the Independent Senator Ronan Mullen and uh, the Labour TD Jan O'Sullivan. Uh, Ronan Mullen, I might start with you first. It looks as if um, your view has not held sway in this, that they're, uh, they are going to vote not only to uh, repeal the Eighth Amendment but also to uh, allow abortion unrestricted up to 12 weeks. Your, your reaction to that? Well I think it, it actually shows yet again just how politicians are very very capable of becoming more and more radical under each other's influence. So I think we've we've had a we've had some re- we've heard some really chill, chilling evidence uh, uh, evidence or chilling claims. Uh, people who had been involved in taking lives, you know, deferred to at the committee, um, and whole areas about why the Eighth Amendment has saved countless lives. Well, when you say people taking lives, you're talking about uh, doctors who, yeah, who are I mean, involved. Yeah, you'd, you'd uh, have to yes. you'd have to be there to believe it. But you know, a consultant over from from um, uh, Birmingham talking in a very blasé way about doing late term termination saying don't worry about the occasional cases you hear about but rare cases about a child being aborted late term for, for just for a cleft palate those are rare as though they didn't matter you know OK let's, let's bring in let's bring in uh, Jan O'Sullivan uh, the Labour City uh, you've become more and more radical under each other's influence uh, is the claim from Ronan Mullen how would you respond? Well, Ronan has completely distorted the evidence that came before the committee and people made their judgment on the basis of objective evidence that they heard, not on the basis of what, they, what other people felt. Um, there were a small number of committee members who, uh, who have said that they, they were clearly swayed by the evidence that they heard. Um, I think most committee members probably started off with feeling that the Constitution wasn't the appropriate place to deal with this issue. Um, it's been a problem since 1983. We've had various referendums. Um, but essentially, it, it's not possible to deal with an issue like this in the Constitution. So I think the most important thing is that it comes out of the Constitution and is dealt with by way of legislation. With people like the Irish College of General Practitioners, we have the masters of most of our maternity hospitals. These aren't people who came you know, with a biased view. They're people who came with their experience as medical professions in trying to deal with the Eighth Amendment in Ireland.